So, some of you, if you've been here before, may have seen this one. Made a little while ago. Um, and uh, I said actually that I would make a few more videos about a few things that uh, were to go along with it as a costume. Well, I, uh, I never did that. So, yeah. That's a bit of a bummer. Now, here's the reason why though. Because, yeah, this little thing is what I actually would have made a video about. Because this, oh, I put that down. Because this, is an actual sword I made. Actual, oh, let me get that from one hand bit issue. It's an actual steel. Let me put a little bit, whoops, pattern in there. That's the handle. Thing is, though, this thing is fine. Or in private, if you're just wearing it, of course, if you're not uh, slashing away at anyone. But this thing is fine for some, well, private party or something. However, you can't carry it on the street, obviously. So, now that needs to be remedied, since I actually want to make something. Uh, I want to go to an event soon, and uh, yeah. For that I'll need something else than just a steel one. So, that's what I'll be doing today. Got a piece of MDF here. And I intend to carve that a little bit up in shape and make something nice out of that. To somewhat resemble my little steel sword. To replace it for the time being here. So, well, also not being limited to my poor knowledge of my fellow little of it. Methology, my poor knowledge, uh, not being limited to my poor knowledge of methology, I can actually do a little bit more here, make it a little bit more detailed uh, compared to the steel sword. So that's uh, what I'll be doing. Got uh, the fullers are uh, partially in there already. Outlines are set on this side, Needs to, I need to do them on the other side still. Got a bit of carving going, so. Um, yeah, I'll, uh, I'll finish this up and then I'll see you, check back on you. So, I'm uh, just done with one side right now. The bevels are nicely in there. Experimented a little bit with the uh, texture by uh, adding some layers of varnish. And well, I'm pretty... Um, well, I'm pretty... Uh, satisfied with it as well, so... It's all relatively straight, not entirely, but looks decent enough to me. All sides are still a bit blank, got a bit of the rough handle shape in there. Need some handle skills on both sides, some, uh, a bit of a guard and a bit of a pommel. Still needs to be go, uh, still needs to go in there, the whole thing still needs to be painted. But um, so far, seems to work quite nicely. Actually, the varnish makes it quite tough really it's it's not it's not as uh, supple as it was before it's not as uh, seem it feels a bit more well, flexible a bit more. it doesn't feel as if it would break easily so i hope that that uh, trend continues when i do this side so yeah we'll see the other side is taking shape slowly now I am. Um, I, uh, I'm not entirely done on this side, as you can see. But I wanted to show you a little trick that I'm using to uh, make these ditches nice and uh, flat. So as you see, this here, the the these two here are nicely, oh, somewhat more finished. Whereas the, um, the, the 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 left the left little ditch that we have here, that's basically what very rough, very ugly. And that's basically what you get when you carve in MDF with just a simple chisel like this one. But well, it doesn't it doesn't come off cleanly because it's so terribly soft. So well, basically what I um, what I do to get it nice and flush, all then I um, I figured out a little trick here with a uh, paintbrush and a piece of saw sandpaper with which I can see right now these ditches nice and even 
So, what was the little thing? So the rough shape is now uh, actually here. So now it's gonna be. Um, I'm gonna have to apply a few layers of uh, varnish and even it out a little so that the uh, the blade also goes straight. Because right now it's really really warped. So I gotta correct that a little bit and uh, finish it up. Give it a good finish. And the painting begins, but um, in the meanwhile, as it dries, I'm gonna make some parts for the uh, handle. So I'm gonna take a little sketch of that and I am gonna make so out a few pieces of wood. And, uh, then I'll be right back. I was thinking to use a bit of this red wood that I had laying about, but as it turns out, the um, yeah, the handle is a bit broader than that, so I'll need to use something else. Now, it's not really a problem. I had a piece of this hawthorn laying about. That should be large enough, but I'm thinking actually of um, making a few parts actually out of the uh, red wood and a few parts out of the hawthorn, so that the uh, handle itself actually is a bit lighter. The hawthorn I will use for that. Well, the pommel and the guard I saw out the, of this piece of redwood. So, I hope that will turn out nicely. Oh, that's basically what we're at right now. Put a pommel here. Got to uh, shape that up a little bit. It's rather rough right now, but uh, the auto shape is in there. Handle here. Oiled it a little bit before. Glued, glued them together. Uh, still trying a little bit, so there's still the, uh, the rubber band around it. And here we have the beginning of the guard, uh, two pieces still also need to be cleaned up a little bit, uh, pattern needs to be engraved in it and uh, yeah, I, need, I still need to make sure that it fits around the actual blade, because right now it's uh, also a bit of a rough outline there, but uh, the, overall, the overall shapes are there. So. The costume is done. Yup. I forgot to record the entire rest of its creation, so here's the result. Now the video isn't quite over though, so I guess that the more observant among you already expect that it is less simple than just being over. And you were right. I wasn't quite content with the overall look of the costume as it is here, which, while it is reasonably accurate to the source material, well, except for a few artistic and political reconsiderations. Um, the look wasn't really that exciting, so I'm gonna change a few things. Now, from this point onward, everything in this video and coming videos will have to do with the changes and new stuff I make for the new version. So enjoy! I wanted to make some sketches on some belt ornaments that I uh, wanted to make for a belt. So, uh, so it needs to hang on something, you know, and want to have something to hang stuff to. 
So that's what I'm going to do right now. that I'm using for this I already added some uh, some more of the round buckle buckly things now the uh, idea is to get some stuff to basically connect them make it a bit of a more wholesome thing rather than just some wood stuck to some leather you know Well, um, maybe I'll take a piece of leather as well, go behind it, a bit of a nice little well, edge to it. But we'll see, first I'll just try to see what I'm going to do with in between these uh, things. So um, this is basically what we want right now. I was puzzling a little bit with uh, all this. I made this thing very, in the very first case. But come on, focus, focus. Yeah, I'm not focus. Well, anyway, I picked up a sketch that I made during uh, a lecture, and well, yeah, I'm easily distracted. Make no comment about this. Come on. <laughs> anyway, so finally we ended up with this. These little things. And the idea is that I'll, uh, I use this as a basis for the other three, basically, uh, the dish shape used within between the little buckles that I already have. And then I make some smaller plates, um, smaller, well, <laughs> actually, the, the bigger, but um, two plates for behind the buckles. And they are then interlinked with a couple of steel rings through the corners here. So I'm going to scan these in, I'm going to edit them a little bit, copy them a few times, and I think then it's time to cut them out. So let's get to that. So whoop, that's what that worked out as. So I uh, paste that onto a uh, little triplex um, varnish the back a little bit so that it would uh, to prevent it from splintering uh, because this stuff is uh, the outer layer wants to splinter off uh, rather easily so yeah cut out a few bits already resulted in this little thing experimented a little bit with the painting a bit of gold and, uh, yeah looks rather promising so now I'm going to cut out the rest
Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen pieces. So, looks like we're complete. Now I am, um, yeah. So I. Uh, I glued them all together, um, and I uh, well, sanded them a little bit down so that the shape was all nice and uh, even along the thick of it, and uh, thickness of it, the, along the, the width of it, sorry. And I painted a few to see what it would look, what it would look like with a bit of gold paint and some ink. I think I'm gonna repeat this particular bit of paint along the entire length of it. So that's the next step. Shiny, 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 shiny. Nice.
so I'm going to sew a uh, strap for behind the uh, belt. Now, the idea I had is that I take a single width of these uh, braids, make a little for the double, something like this, and make one of these on, uh, above and below the wooden belt, and then use the black back as the uh, backdrop against which the belt itself um, will be supported. So. Been a little while since I worked on this thing. Yeah. Um. Been taking off the video a little bit. <laughs> Not really been documenting it as well as I wanted to. Oh well. This is what she looks like right now. Now I am um, mostly still not quite satisfied with the scabbard here, so it's a bit flimsy for me. Um, yeah, did that a bit last minute. Uh, just something to carry the sword in, so I'm, um, I'm gonna do a few, a few small things then. First off, the sword itself has a, a bit of a gold and silver painted middle. But um, as it stands right now, I really, really don't like the way that yeah, the camera doesn't really pick it up at this rather pronounced um, border between the two colors. So I want to, well, make that a bit more smooth. I really like the handle though. No. Look at it. Yeah. Well, um, so I'll be working on that. And then the scout is going to look at the total makeover because I really, really, really. I really don't want to use that thing again. <laughs> Just look at it. I mean, what, 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 what? Ah, nah, well. I'll just be, I'll just be making something else. So, my idea was to take a piece of the little bit of a triplex, cut out two uh, sides for that, something more for in between to actually uh, make a space for the uh, sword itself, and then cover it up with a bit of this old chair leather that I have uh, <laughs> playing about. That's nice colour, bit reddish, bit yeah, I like it. So we'll see how that figures out and then maybe add on a few ornaments made from some wood. Don't know what piece I'll use actually I have some some stuff laying here, some some little trunk laying here, so yeah, one of these probably. Well, let's see. Just cut down on that first, so I'll be right back. So, that's about all of them done. Well, these are the... Um, well, the idea with this is that these are the outer two shells, so the... Um, these go on both sides of the blade. Then this one is a center one, going all the way around it, around the, uh, around the edge. Then these two I need to go in within between, and I'm gonna have to grind them down a little bit so that it uh, fits and gets all nice and rounded up. So that's the next step. I'm gonna glue these things together and well, get them into shape.
so this is the core, is it? Cutly is. All parts glued together. Oh, sound off a little bit. So it's nice and smooth. I was actually tempted now to actually just keep it this way because it actually looks quite nice, so the uh, sanded trip X, but yeah, I don't think I'm gonna do that. In the end, I think it will look better if I work it some more. Now, as you see, the sword length is about the same as the scabbard. Fits quite well, actually. Rather snugly. Was worried about the wood grind through here because it's really, really thin wood. But it held up so. Yeah, now that's great.
So, you might have seen this one before, maybe, if you've seen some of my other videos at the very least. You may have, but um, as it is, I'm probably going to make another one. Why? Well, because this doesn't actually have the shape that supposedly fits with the costume, so... I've got now these little pieces of multiplex trying glue together. And I hope that it will somewhat resemble the jaw of a bike, half of it. So I've got no idea whether this is structurally sound or whether the sound that it will make is any good. But uh, I, I guess we'll find out when I put on the strings. So that's going to be an interesting experiment. So I just made these. And, uh, the idea is that these... Uh, these two little plates are uh, going in front and on the back of the sheet, the upper part, like this basically, and then the blank one on the other side. And then I just drew out the, um, the contours on these wedges here so that they can be joined at the sides basically. Yeah, need some cutting still before it fits, but guess that should work nicely and then the, um, both, both of these plates will be slightly um, folded or uh, bent inwards so that it gives a bit of a sleeker look than it would be if it just uh, stacked on each other straight. Well, up until now I've been relatively um, accurate to my first sketch that I made of this little thing. But now I'm adding these uh, threads here and I, I'm not feeling them. It it's, doesn't look quite the way I want. So I think I'm just gonna remove them again keep the plain leather look. I think it looks better. As a uh, final little thing here, I added these two straps here. They're nothing too special, I didn't re really record anything of it, it's just a, a strap of leather, a few pre-made uh, buttons and some, 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 some uh, brass colored rings that I had laying about. So uh, yeah, that, that was a quick thing to make. But the, uh, the idea here is that, uh, now I have the, the belt I sewed earlier, now I added a, uh, an actual belt on the inside. 
because otherwise it, it would just not hold on to, uh, for example, the, the, this thing it would just totally deform this and it would really, uh, really, really nick down under the weight of it. But um, the idea is that these rings can be attached to these little wooden tiles. Okay, with one hand, this is not particularly easy. Okay, so, but like this. And, uh, well, that's basically it. So, this is actually sort of done, finally. Well, I think this worked out quite nice. Yeah, I made some improvements, I think. Dear. So, this went together all quite nicely. Yeah. Took me way too long though. <laughs> I uh, think I might still make a few alterations after this. I mean, I'm not quite content with the look of this. Yeah, and the, uh, well, loin cloth something kind of thing. I mean, uh, well, the, the, the thing itself. I, I'm not bothered with the thing being there, so to speak, but I uh, I think it's a bit boring like this with the just blue and black. I might just add something to make it a bit more colorful, a bit more. Maybe something, yeah, some, some, some sort of uh, gold motif or something like that. Well, well to make it match a bit, a bit with that belt and the sword, I guess. Something shiny or silvery or metally, something. But um, apart from that, I'm actually really quite content with the way this all worked out. Just a little black inking on the sheath. I really like that. Well, I think that's going to be all for this video, so I hope you enjoyed it. See you next time.